We've got real potential with AI in terms of recycling. AI becomes more and more versatile. We're here at the Southwark Integrated Waste Management Facility. It's one of the biggest waste management facilities in the UK. And what's special about it is it's in a city. So this facility takes waste from many different local authorities, more than 150,000 tonnes a year, comes in from all over the city, and we separate it out into different materials, such as paper, card, plastic, glass, and metals, ready for it to be recycled into new products. The sorting process is several stages. First of all, we've got disc screens, which sort out the bigger material, then it drops through onto another belt where we've got optical sorters which are separating out different materials. They're a very clever piece of kit that can separate out cans from plastic, from paper and card. Then it goes through a picking line like the one here beside us. And then we've got some brand new AI which is looking for those top end contaminants through a separated line of waste. We've got real potential with AI in terms of recycling. One of the things that we're doing at the moment is training a piece of software which is over the belt of aluminium waste stream as that comes through. And what we're looking for is any of those last contaminants, any laminated pieces of card or anything that might have got through the previous three steps of sortation. Once it's trained and it's finding those contaminants, what we're going to do is put a robotic arm onto the belt which will then be able to pick those contaminants off the belt, which will make sure that the metals, the aluminium that's going through to the final stage is as pure as it possibly can be, ready to be recycled into new cans again. As AI becomes more and more versatile, it's great to see companies like this investing in new technology to help increase recycling rates. And it's technologies like this that will help us to make the most of our finite and precious resources and, of course, protect the environment.